Today we get to look at equations with symmetrical coefficients. Solve the, that equation. Let's solve this equation. The first step with this, we divide this equation through by x squared. When we divide through by x squared, the equ equation will become So we collect like terms, 5x plus 5 over x squared, we equate this to 0, so this is also equal to 0. So after collecting like terms, we factorize out the common term here. The common term here is going to be 5. Common term here is 16 minus 42. That's going to give us 0. Since we have put this in the brackets, let's say let m, let's call this a letter, let m So if m is equal to x plus 1 over x, so it means that this can be the value of m. Now what about this? Let's try and square m. m squared will be equal to... So meaning that our m squared is going to become x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x so if we make it look like this I mean like this m is equal to x plus 1 so if we make it look like that this expression it means we are supposed to remove these two from here so it means m squared minus 2 is going to become x plus 1 over x so after getting our values of m, here we got m squared is supposed to be equal to x plus 1 over x. So we substitute for this, we put m squared in this expression. Then in this expression, x squared plus 1 over x squared, we are going to put this expression there. And then we, our equation is going to become like this. Our equation was originally, it was 5 into... Our value of m is x plus 1 over 2, so this is going to become m. And m squared minus 2 is equal to x squared plus 1 over x. So this term we are going to substitute for and we simplify the equation. Now we have simplified our expression, it has become a quadratic equation, so now all we have to do is find the value of m. After finding the value of m, we come substitute it here and we get the respective values of x. And that is how we will have solved this equation with symmetrical coefficients. So after getting our values of m, remember that m at first m is equal to x plus 1 over x. So now we begin when m is negative 2, what is x? Our value of x there is going to be negative 1 and that is one of the factors of that polynomial and so this is going to be a repeated factor. It is a repeated factor because 
it's both positive and negative one. So our first value of m was negative two and when our value of m is negative two, we put m here, our value of x we get is negative one. So when m is negative 26 over five, let's get the value of x that is corresponding. So when the value of m is 26 over 5, we get our value of x as either 5 or 5. So it means for us, the final answer is the factors of this polynomial are going to be 5, a fifth, and this, negative 1, which is a repeated factor. So those are the roots of the polynomial. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. For more videos, simply subscribe to Kisembo Academy. For Kisembo Academy, this is Arnold Rangakuramia.